tall order to stand here. But let's talk about the future, about blockchain, which is the next killer app for cryptography. Where is the thing here? Yep. So uh, you all heard about blockchain, what it does and what it uh, shouldn't do, and what it does and what it does not do. Blockchain has several forms. In both forms, uh, the one that is public permissionless and the other one that is more as a consortium, blockchain actually is about synchronizing state on multiple different nodes in a distributed system that, where there is no perfect information between them. So it's about protocols and uh, as characterized here um, as a ledger, which is this data structure that is like to be depicted where uh, Satoshi notes all the bitcoins that have been spent to whom. Um, the problem is fundamentally about synchronizing these ledgers with each other because we have too many of them. So blockchain is just a protocol to emulate such a ledger uh, together. So we need cryptography, and that's good. We need protocols, that is, even, is also good. And to get cryptographic protocols, which is a topic that I really like. Now, um, in this world here, you have certainly also heard what I already mentioned, that there are multiple kinds of consensus uh, in the and multiple types of protocols in the blockchain world. There is uh, the public proof of work style consensus, which is called a permissionless system because everybody can simply join because you do not need to get an identity first. Where, and this was one of the features that Satoshi introduced to this uh, study of protocols because everybody else studying consensus protocols before has just assumed mathematically there are n nodes and we can enumerate them. Anyway, that what gave, that, but that gave, all, that gave also more interest again to those classical protocols. And uh, both of families of protocols have the same problem, namely, how do they scale? How can they scale? That has led actually to a lot of interest in this question. And you see another exponentially increasing curve here, which is the Bitcoin price, which is proportional to all the hype that is uh, generated about this. Yeah. So, and a lot of it has to do with cryptography and protocols, and a lot, of, a lot have, of it has also to do with just the fact that there is money connected to it. Everybody can think about it and talk about it. Now, uh, there is even uh, consensus. Is a, uh, there is a trade show called Consensus, where you can pay thousands of dollars to go listen to other people who also pay thousands of dollars to talk about consensus. But I would not be sure that anybody has seen a definition of consensus there. There is also 200 million raised in just uh, uh, two weeks or something uh, by these ICOs. This is one of the most famous that uh, got 200 million uh, just the other day uh, or the other week back in July. Now, this uh, should some people here who have been around uh, in the 90s, like me, remind about certain things that were going on in the 90s, namely there's this hype. There is all these things about systems and claims being made. and uh, this, some of those things didn't really hold water when we looked at them later. So back then, and Bruce Schneier was very vocal in uh, putting lists and uh, writing about them to get about these together. There were a lot of people proposing their snake oil crypto schemes. Yeah, and uh, the problem, of course, is that good cryptography looks just like bad cryptography and protocols that should withstand an adversary in a distributed network. It's just the same thing. So this was actually going before. We can read some of the characteristics here of snake oil warning signs that have to do with tech, oops, it goes fast, techno babble, secret algorithms, claims of unbreakability, and so on. And so here is a random list, and uh, don't take it personal if your things uh, show up, uh, of uh, such uh, <laughs> consensus protocols that have been, uh, that I've just found last night. So good cryptography, as we know nowadays, requires all of those things that are written here, namely careful study, proofs, and analysis, formal models. And where do we stand with blockchain cons consensus today? So there is one that says the first performant blockchain and its scales, a breakthrough in distributed systems, and here it says even more about rock solid security and so on. And then we try to look at the details and you found the thing in, in your little yellow, yellow there, a proprietary consensus protocol called scalable consensus. They don't tell us how it works. Okay. Um, there is something here that uh, looks like a, a tangle. It's called the tangle. It shows up in something called IOTA. Um, it's a generalization of the blockchain because it's a DAG. It's a, it's a, so it must be more performant because it has more things going on in parallel. Yeah? Um, whether it's uh, consistent or not, we don't know. Yeah? Because there is no actual analysis on this. This is actually a great call for research also on these topics. Yeah? 
There is the blockchain technology behind the sun, uh, which is not related to the eclipse, but uh, there is sun coin here. Um, that's based on the sky ledger blockchain, obviously. And then you dig deeper, you try to find out where this is, and uh, you find that a sky coin comes in the sky blockchain. There is a button where you can donate here to the to the uh, to the ICO, uh, but it's again revolutionary. And Bitcoin is no, since Bitcoin is no longer decentralized. Reading the last line, Skycoin's consensus algorithm is uh, designed to achieve through uh, decentralization what Satoshi did not achieve. Apparently, yeah? you dig deeper, you find out that the Skyjoin actually as a Skycoin comes from a white paper of which I can only read half, and then I had to stop. And there is the hash graph consensus by Swartz, which is another one of these generalizations from a chain to a DAG, which we know should be possible. But then you look at in the middle, you say the hash graph can, so the Swartz hash graph is radically different approach to distributed consensus. The hash graph can resolve scaling in, in security issues instantaneously. This things, this at least comes with a white paper, um, and the white papers are nowadays all written in LaTeX, so you can actually no longer tell whether the white papers make sense or not, like in the 90s, where uh, a lot less white papers that were made sense were written in LaTeX. <laughs> um, yeah, so models, proofs, formal analysis, study, that should all be done. It's not being done today. One more. Uh, clarity, we have a report on archive where we compare some of those that you actually could read and understand. Uh, you'll see also some question mark on that table there. Um, this is related to our effort uh, with colleagues in IBM Zurich on some blockchain protocol uh, platform called Hyperledger Fabric. This is something that's geared towards enterprise use. It's something that we have been part of at Zurich Research from the start. And that's why we did not invent a new consensus algorithm. We just made sure that the right ones and true and tried ones are in implemented. Yes, and that's it. And there's going to be a workshop on this. And yes. <laughs>